So, I've been using Blender for over 10 years now and in these 10 years I managed to work on some big productions such as House of the Dragon and Marvel's Ant-Man. I also managed to build up a freelance career where I'm working for small animation studios and YouTube creators. I'm basically working from home doing what I love. So looking back, I really think that I could have achieved this kind of results in way less time if I would have known a few tips and tricks. So in this video I'm sharing 6 tips I wish I would have known when I was starting out with Blender. So let's start with tip number 1, focus on what is important. So in the past I spent multiple months modeling one single asset because I thought maybe I'm going to do some close up shots. But in the end I never did. So I basically spent 2 or 3 months extra on a project which wasn't really necessary. So on another project I spent multiple days on placing buildings for a city because I thought well maybe I am having a shot from the top where you are really going to see all the streets in the city. But again I ended up only doing one shot from one angle where you could not even see any of the streets. So my advice is to really learn in the beginning of a project to think about what you want to achieve with this project. Really think about what angles you want to show. If you're doing like a full environment scene, maybe block out your scene and choose some camera angles and then only worry about these camera angles and these distances from the camera. Because then you don't need to spend a lot of time modeling all these kinds of details that are never seen in the camera. So that is what I'm trying to do nowadays, is at the start of a project really think about what do I want to do with this shot, what do I want to do with this project and really to be realistic. Because you can always say, well, close up shots are nice, so I'm modeling for close up shots. But are you really gonna use these close up shots? So be realistic and you can always add more details and spend more work on it. But if you're spending months on a project from the beginning and then you're not even gonna use it, then that is wasted time. Tip number two, explore other software. And wait before you close this video, let me explain. Blender has only become prominent in the last few years. Most big studios still rely on programs such as Maya or Houdini and will likely continue to do so for the foreseeable future. That means that a lot of the best artists in the world working on all these big movies and games really don't work in Blender. But a lot of them still share their advice online and show their techniques and all that cool stuff that is really valuable for you. So my advice is to not just learn from Blender users, but look at other software and other artists working in these softwares. Because a lot of the stuff in Maya or Houdini can easily be transferred into Blender. So a great place to find these kind of professionals and experts is Skillshare, the sponsor of this video. So Skillshare is the largest online learning community for creatives. It's packed with thousands of classes taught by experts, so no matter your level, beginner or advanced, you will find something that fits your needs. You can explore topics like 3D modeling, animation, sculpting and even freelancing. But Skillshare isn't just for 3D artists, there are also great classes on productivity, illustration and so much more. I personally have been trying to stay more focused during my work days and Skillshare has been really helpful in that. I for example took a class by Ali Abdal on organizing your day and this really gave me some practical tips to avoid distractions and get more done in a day. And the cool thing is that with Skillshare you don't just watch, you really get to put what you learn into practice right away. And you can even share your projects with other members for feedback. So the first 500 people to click the link in my video description will get a one month free trial of Skillshare. So why not give it a try? And now let's get back into the video. With tip number three, trust in the process. So does this sound familiar? You are lying awake at night and suddenly you have this awesome idea for a new project, maybe you are remembering this workflow you heard of and really want to try this in your next Blender project. 
So the next day you start Blender and start working on your project and a few hours later you do some first renders and it really looks awful. Then you're closing Blender and thinking well I'm just not a good artist. This happened to me a lot of times and over the years I really learned that you need to trust the process because a lot of times your first versions simply don't look that good. And that is a thing most artists experience. So sometimes there is this one VFX studio working on two movies. One movie wins the Oscar for best visual effects, while the other movie gets critiqued by its bad looking VFX. And oftentimes it's the same artist working on these movies. So why does one look so good and the other does not? Probably because on this one movie where the effects were good, the artists actually had a lot of time to work on these, while on the other movies they maybe did not have too much time on these effects. Because a lot of time you can get to a certain level with your work on your first try, especially if you're an experienced artist, but then it's just a matter of looking at your shot and seeing what does not look so good, what do I need to improve and then improving on that. Maybe you get feedback from other artists and they will look at the shot and together that you will decide well I think this looks not as good, let's maybe try to change that. So you need to trust in the process and you need to trust that you will be able to get to a level where you are actually going to be happy with the result. Not just quit in the very beginning because it does not look so good. Tip number four, don't be a perfectionist. So probably the one trait that held me back for many years was being a perfectionist. As I already said in the beginning, I oftentimes spent a lot of time on a project which I could have finished in way less time. Only to be disappointed at the end just because I had some unrealistic expectations. Sometimes I spent even more time on it trying to fix it, trying to improve it and weeks later I still wasn't happy with it or sometimes I just not finished the project. And I think that a lot of beginners actually struggle with finishing their projects at all. Because maybe they are not happy or maybe they are just spending too much time on stuff that isn't really important. So if that's you, then maybe I have the tip that will help you. Try to give yourself a time limit. Try to give yourself a limit in which you want to finish the project. So I would recommend to really start with a short amount of time. So if you're usually spending weeks or maybe even months on a project, try to finish a project in one day. And of course this project will not look as good as with many months in the end, but at least you're going to finish it. And you're going to have to cut corners to achieve this. You're going to spend your time only on the things that really matter. And if you have done a few projects, then maybe you're going to increase the time to three days or maybe to a week. But this really teaches you to spend your time efficiently and to also finish your projects. Tip number five, invest in your growth. So I'm a firm believer that you can learn most things in Blender with just free tutorials. But sometimes I really think it can be helpful to spend a bit of money on some paid content and courses. Because I learned that these paid courses are oftentimes a lot more high quality than like the usual free content. That does not mean that there are these free awesome tutorials online that really help you level up your skills. But a lot of these awesome tutorials from experienced artists are paid courses. So if you really want to achieve your goals quickly, then spending some money on some paid courses or some paid memberships to a patron really can help you level up your skills. Mentioning patron, if you want to support my work, maybe you want to download my project files or you want to get access to my add-ons and Gumroad products, then consider supporting me on Patreon. Tip number six, get excited. So over the years, I did not just learn Blender, but many other programs such as Maya, Substance Painter, Photoshop and Nuke. And other softwares like Houdini, I tried to learn, but I did not really end up sticking to it for long enough. 
And the reason for that is that I just thought, well, it's nice to know Houdini. And I know a lot of studios require that you know Houdini, but I'm not really excited about it. I just thought, well, it's nice, but that's it. And I learned that for most things, this isn't really enough because this maybe keeps you at it for one or two days, but not for a long period of time, which usually is required to learn a software. So what actually kept me sticking with learning Blender all these years or learning Photoshop or Nuke is to get excited. And in Blender, for example, it was that I really got excited to create Star Wars content, to create Star Wars animations or maybe even a Star Wars short movie. And this kept me up at night really researching some cool techniques and some cool tutorials on how I can achieve this. And this also meant that I did not spend too much time on watching all kinds of tutorials, but actually spent some time creating this in Blender and trying my luck. And then when I hit some problems, I then watched some more tutorials on that, but then jumped straight back into Blender. And I really think that this is an awesome way of learning a program because this keeps you at it for a long period of time. So of course you can just be passionate about something, but I think that a lot of programs have this one or two areas you can really get excited for. So try to find this area in a program, probably Blender, you really can get excited for. This then will hopefully help you stick with it. So I hope these tips are helpful for you. And if you want to learn more, then again, consider subscribing or support me on Patreon. With that said, have a great day. Bye.